Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The version you about actress with Miss Rutu shocked Nigerians today as she made some claims about her colleagues. In May last year, Remy was thrown into a state of mourning over the sad loss of her mom. The mortal talented screen diva took to social media to announce the passing of her mom that day. To announce this, she shared a photo of her mother on social media platforms with heartbreak emoji and crying emoji. Immediately she shared this, many of her colleagues in the comment section sent their condolences whilst wishing the deceased a peaceful rest. That's the winter roots. Hmm, grandma you thought. You lived a fulfilled life. We miss you too. You did everything humanly possible, but God knows best, grandma. May your soul rest in perfect peace. The Missouri to a cool as a morama. Shalako so calls you with me a gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Good night, Mama. Who shall do you also left his own message? Wow, she don't shall God grant her a good rest. Many of them left a message. I do not do a local lati journey, Mr. Asaramo, secret to sing do do it. Our dish if any a partial boss. But now, some months down the line, it has been reported that almost all our colleagues in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood shunned our mother's burial, which was held in Lagos State. And during her speech at her mother's burial, she made a shocking revelation about her colleagues. And according to her, she was raised by her late mother to only rely on God. And in her words, it is only God I have and depend on. While some of my colleagues depend on Babalawus, my mother taught us the way of God, and I'm walking in that path today. Aside from the actor, Yomi Fabi, many of our colleagues in the industry were missing at that event. So she was sort of left alone to bury her late mom. This was also reported with just a few friends and family members. We showed up for this. However, the actresses Umitorela and Funke Eti tendered their public apology over their absence at this burial ceremony. Remy's mother was 101 years old when she passed on. This was in May 2022. And taking to Instagram, Wumi pleaded with her fans to help her beg the actress Remy. She ruled that she had been unable to pick Remy's calls. Because she was scared that the actress would lash out at her. And in her words, I miss Remy Suitu's mom's mother and I couldn't even pick calls because I don't want to hear she get. Please help me apologize to her and tell her I love her. Take it to Wumi's comment section. Funke Eti also apologized to Remy Suitu over her absence at the same funeral. And she was with plenty, my lovely big sister Ejo, pardon Wumi and me too. So these are the actors who have apologized publicly for missing this event. As Ellen mentioned, this is very weird, strange for such events. As you know, over the years, Yoruba actors turned their colleagues' events when Ashoe B and honoring the person who is mourning. Well, we also wonder exactly why many of them, in fact, only Yomi was noticed that was there, did not attend this event of Remisu and she also made the startling revelation at the same burial that many of her colleagues in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood depend on Babalawos to shine, as I had earlier mentioned. This is quite controversial. Her name is Remile Kun Osho Diboda, and she is probably called Remi Surutuba Atemin Fans. She has been active in this industry since the 1985. That is like 37 years. She is originally from Ondo State. Remy Surutu, in the classic TV series Village Headmaster. However, she was to stardom when she featured as the lead character in the movie Surutu, which was produced by Folabi Ogunjobi. That movie gave her a lot of recognition and a lot of endorsements. Since that time, the name stuck, and many of our fans now address her. As Remy Surutu, she has remained relevant since the 80s, entertaining us decade after decade. 
Her career can be traced as far back as the late 90s even in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. Remy has quite an interesting story. She mentioned that while she was still fresh in the industry, she worked part-time as a musician at a funeral service organization called Ebony Caskets. She has featured the movies like Akomogiri, Babanla, Omajashe, Crack, 20 Years, Ukwinfemi, Aremukeriwa, Iwalade, Ilekun, Uwajemi, 30 Days Couple, Okwanike, and Ajogumba. This is just to mention a few of them. Also in 2008, she received an award as the Actress of the Year by Afro Hollywood Award in Ireland. Apart from being an actor, she's also an entrepreneur and works as the CEO of R.S. King Supplement Store. Remy is from Undo State and she was born on 13th of May. A lot of people do not know this, but she started her career in the entertainment industry as a model. She started modeling for agencies such as Linters, OBM, and the Concept Unit before she delved into acting with rehearsals and shoots done at the NTA. Until this day, she's still among the relevant ones in the entertainment industry. As I mentioned, this is not how things have been done so far in the industry. Even when the actress, Yabo Ujo, had her own ceremony, lots of actors trooped to the place to celebrate with her. And when she had the Remember ceremony, it was the same thing. It was such a huge event. And actors were even giving us updates on the official social media platforms, sharing photos and short clips on this event. Of course, Yabo Jo is not the only one that they've celebrated over these years. You've seen both the female and male colleagues being celebrated. The late mom of Remy was 101 years old. So, curious fans are interested in why Remy was shunned by her colleagues. And we have come to the end of this episode where Remy Surutu shocks Nigerians with this revelation about some of her colleagues amidst the shunning of her mother's burial ceremony. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.